The ANC Youth League says it suspended President Julius Malema will attend the final day of the ANC National Executive Committee meeting today. And an orthopedic surgeon from Plettenberg Bay has purchased a fishing vessel that made headlines in 2010. I'm Richard Brooks. The ANC Youth League says its suspended president, Junius Malema, will be attending the final day of the ANC's National Executive Committee meeting today. Yesterday, the ANC's National Disciplinary Committee of Appeal upheld the decision by the ANC's Disciplinary Committee to suspend Julius Malema for five years. Malema will now have to give evidence in mitigation of his sentence. Speaking after the verdict, the league's spokesperson Floyd Shivumble says by virtue of being the league's president, Malema will attend the ANC NEC meeting currently underway in Irene, just outside Pretoria. He is a member of the National Executive Committee of the ANC by virtue of him being a president of the ANC. There is still a process yes, in the ANC, but currently he is a president of the ANC and a member of the National Executive Committee of the ANC. Julius Malema's status in the ANC will most likely be clarified early next week. This after his bid to have his conviction and suspension overturned flopped before the party's National Disciplinary Committee of Appeals, chaired by Cyril Ramaphosa. Ramaphosa's panel has, however, asked the NCD to convene within two weeks to hear arguments in mitigation of sentence. ANC spokesperson Keith Corza had earlier said the suspensions of Malema and league spokesperson Floyd Shivambo would kick in with immediate effect. The party now says there may be internal processes to finalise the fate of the suspended officials pending arguments in mitigation of sentence. ANC spokesperson Jackson Mtembu. We think Comrade Keith spoke out of turn and without any mandate, but we are very happy that he has already apologized. Again, we would like to say any matters of discipline and any matters of discipline that arise from this NTCA process and any matters that might have arisen earlier on are not a terrain of the communications of the AMC, but a terrain of the National Disciplinary Committee. The bridge across the Orange River between Roxville in the Free State and Aliwal North in the Eastern Cape remains closed until structural damage has been properly investigated. This after a truck hit one of the pillars of the bridge. The bridge links the N6 in the Eastern Free State and the Eastern Cape. The truck driver has been admitted to hospital with serious head injuries. Motorists are advised to use alternative routes via Zastron and Smithfield. An orthopedic surgeon from Plettenberg Bay has purchased a fishing vessel that made headlines in 2010 for carrying South Africa's biggest cocaine haul. The vessel was sold for about 450,000 rand at an auction in Neisner. The Toledo was seized at the Neisner waterfront with nearly 2,000 kilograms of the drug on board, estimated at nearly 500 million rand. Ricky Cooper put the bid in on behalf of Dr. Jeff Reed. I think he'd be very happy with the price that we paid. He was quite prepared to go to that amount. He certainly knows that he's involved in a crime case, and you know who knows, at the end of the day, it may have a history in, in a couple of years' time. It'll be known as the boat that was involved in the, possibly the biggest drug deal in South Africa.